So guys, all of this top 10 new Minecraft items that you can get in the Minecraft Education Edition update. We're gonna be looking into this. So guys, welcome into another video of Minecraft Pocket Edition. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you some of the new top 10 Minecraft items that you can get with the help of the Education Edition. And today I've got no face cam because, you know, this is a real important video and, you know, face cam is not very necessary. But also, if you guys uh, think that this kind of video is pretty much good, uh, you know, then you guys can please leave a like and you know what else should I do about the education edition you can basically you know just comment down in the comment section below but we're gonna go into the video straight away so guys in the last video we actually show you some of the elements that and the compounds that you can create so these were all these in the, that video was pretty nice so I decided to make in the part 2 of this and King Don Nakshovi actually helped me make all these trails of new items so it's all the way over here and starting off in the number 1 we have new blocks and elements in the Minecraft so we actually already know that there are some of the new elements so if you go into the construction part you can see there are all Hydrogen, helium, and this basically what, 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 question mark. Anyway, that I believe it's going to be the new elements that are going to be added into the game. And the new blocks are basically element constructor, compound creator, lab table, and material reducer. So we already know that. Anyways, is there anything in the shelter box? No. What are you? Okay, there's not any secret, but anyways, number two is balloons, which is actual balloons. And now with the help of the education edition, so I forgot to tell you, if you go into the settings, and if you gotta go into the game option, if you scroll all the way down, you can see there's the education edition, and uh, once you turn that on, you'll, you'll get all these new cool items. So if that is not turned on, then you better do that, because that's not gonna work. So anyways, we got it. number two. The balloons. So balloons can be actually in color. As you may see here is basically a green color. And you know he says first get C5 and H8. So we gotta use the element constructor to get those, but I believe he has yeah. So to not waste time we have already got carbon and hydrogen in there. So now the next part then create a lattic. So once you have got C5 H8, you gotta put that in the compound creator. And who we got some amazing stuff, which is called Latix. Alright, we got Latix. So now make six Latix. Oh we need six Latix. So uh we already have two, we're gonna make six of these. Six. There we go. We got all six Latix. So Mix six latex and frog balloon by the recipe in the box. So we're gonna look at the recipe. So basically we need six latex on the side, one dye on the top, which I'm gonna choose light blue because you know I like that color. Helium in the middle and lead at the bottom. So let's put that in the craft table. You gotta put like all these six latex, one there, one here, one there, one there one there and one there lead at the bottom die at the top and helium in the middle we got light blue balloons this is actually really cool also now next up use the balloons to make pigs fly Woo -hoo! so pigs are gonna fly so he has put the like green balloon but you know we're gonna use the light balloon Blue balloon. So we're gonna spawn some few picks, and then oh, pick you on the shoulder box. We're gonna test this, and hey, a big fly. Catch you as well, pigs fly. 
you best well. So you can do with this with any mob, I believe. Just like, hey, horsey, come over here. But pigs take pigs and chicken, I believe they take quicker. And this dude has just stuck on the tree. What about you, dude? Oh, it's flying up. And with the help of Tridendor and bow and arrow, you can actually pop these balloons. So I have the Trident. And now I'm gonna pop these. Like that. And they're gonna fall. Which is pretty depressing. So we were on the balloon section. And we have collected these. So we're gonna put this wherever they are. No worry, we're just gonna take this. Alright. So at the next part we got the ice bomb. There must be an ice bomb over here, but for some reasons they are not. So we're gonna gather C2, H3, and NaO2. Now these are some normal cool elements, so you gotta know these all. So this is what we're gonna look at here. So we need carb two carbon, then we need three hydrogen, we need one sodium, and we need two oxygen. So we're gonna put this right here, so that we don't get like mixed up. Okay, so now after all of these, we gotta make sodium ectate. Now I believe sodium ectate looks like this. We gotta craft. So we're gonna put C2, H3, Na, and O2. As we see, we get sodium ectate. Let's, let's make a few of these. Let's make three of these. Put in four sodium. Oh, dang it, we need four. We can take one of you. There we go, four. So put in four sodium ectate. Now this is actually the work of lab table. See so if we put like four sodium ectate. <gasps> this starts in we haven't looked this starts in meeting, you know, but let's click on that combine button and ooh. That looks like an enterpro. Here let me see. Uh where's the enterpro here? Look, enterpro ice bomb. But I believe Ice Bomb is not so much circle. Okay, I'm gonna put one right over here as so well. Maybe it's a clutch anyways, but let's see what does this does. So, Ice Bomb basically is like an enderpearl. You throw it right here and creates ice. So, right if you go into the river, if you throw like ice everywhere, you can use this in like, um, doing some ice wars or something in some pvp maps why are you here i wonder who are you or anything special no anyways we're just gonna go into our own job you know hey let's fill this as well yeah there we go so it fills by three into three area so we put in the sodium make date now I'm doing some more. So we can basically do like this. So sodium egg, so ice bomb. We can use all of these. Oh no, see I told you these are gonna mix up. You know, we don't want that to happen. So it was I don't know what it was alright, we're just gonna put these so that we don't run out of inventory space. Okay. There we go. But we're gonna put the main items on the hard bar. And all unnecessary items over there. So we got the balloon and the ice bomb. So next up, right at number four, we have heat block. So I've shown this in the previous episode, but also heat blocks are cool. So we're gonna just add this on the tutorial. So first, you gotta make H2O water and NaCl dissolve. So H2O creates water and NaCl creates salt. So we can make that over here quickly. We need one water and we need one salt, which is the NaCl. Now after we do that, combine iron, Fe, and charcoal and water and salt. So is there? Yeah. So we got every necessary stuff over here. Okay, so we just need the charcoal and the island so if you put these in the lab table like so as you see this starts animating which is i believe it's an eye drop in the beaker and if we hit that combine button 
that animation stops and we get the heat block. So now here's a chunk of ice over here, so if we put the heat block right over there, the ice will start melting. As we see, that turns into water. Soon, other ice starts melting as well. It will work, I believe, in 3 into 3 area. But we're gonna leave it right over there and uh, it will start working. So, we're gonna put the heat block right over here. And next up is a super fertilizer. For some reason, it doesn't show in the item frame. But we're gonna gather NH3 and T uh, with the element constructor. So, we got N, H3, and P. Okay, so make ammonia from NH3. So we gotta put N H3 to make ammonia, which looks like this. I believe we just need one. Uh, wait. So mix them in the lab table. Ammonia plus P to make <gasps> super fertilized. That looks so flippin' cool. So we're gonna put the uh, what? ammonia and P, which is the phosphorus, and this starts animating again. I wonder when the, like, when the middle one starts animating. Anyways, let's click on that combine button. It means like the dirt is breaking and we get the super fertilizer. So super fertilizer in survival. So we gotta go in survival, I believe. Because it says uh, go in survival. So S-U-R-V-I-V. -V. No, that's not the wrong, that's not the wrong command. Are we gonna go in game mode? S. And uh, what's in here? There's bone meal and there's two saplings. So I believe when well, it says grow one sapling with the bone meal and one with super fertilizer. So it's basically how you show that how these grow. So one oak sapling here, we're gonna use the bone meal. One, two, three, three turns. Now with the super fertilizer. Oh, sorry, I just went to the pond. One shot. Oh boy. See, that's the cool thing about Super Fertilizer. It, no, no, I just went there. But anyways, we're gonna go into Game of Creative and we're gonna create another because it's like achievement, all right, in our hot bar. So, here we go. Now we're gonna create another one, I believe. Or it is, it's basically gone, we gotta restart the whole process again. Boom! We got super fun. Why is there an Enderman? Hi. That's not a thing of concern, but that just freaked me out like crazy. I saw that something very cool over here, but can I put this? No. Alright, we have this. We're gonna sort this all out because we don't need it. And we're gonna put super fertilizer over here. So, hopefully this enderman does not like take any of the blocks that are important. Anyways, we got the hardened glass over here. <gasps> Whoa, this looks freak out, bro. Look at this. This is basically super cool. But anyways, at number six, we got hardened glass. All right. So we gotta gather boron two. O3 and L, which is aluminium, three times. Alright, we got already easy here, bro, but you gotta collect it from the element constructor. Sorry for you guys. Anyways, we're gonna go into the compound creator and we gotta craft B2O3 and LO3. So, L2O3. So hard. Even with their symbols. So, we created boron oxide, I believe, and we now create the aluminium oxide which is cool now uh we gotta craft so recipes like this oh we need three of these all right settle it bro so we need oh wait it's already in the shulker box my my mind is not going good anyways we can take three of these and we're going to take three of these as well. Okay, so now if you go over here, if you put 
this on the bottom, this on the top, and then you basically put the glasses. We get the hardened glass three times. All right. Now the hardened glass looks super awesome. Traction. Look at this. We can create it of any color, and now we gotta go into survival again because it says over here. So game mode. So try breaking the hardened glass and the normal glass. So this is the normal stained glass. This is the hardened stained glass. So we're gonna break this. Easy. But... <gasps> it takes so long. I believe it's more harder than a stone. Dude. This takes forever. Ooh. We get it. Alright, it's not like normal glass. Anyways, we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna, like, go in game mode, see. Okay. So let's, I just want to see that how much this dude's, like, TNT explosion radius. I want to do it pretty far away. So that nothing explodes. One, two, three. Uh, like this. I'm gonna put it like this, and I'm gonna put the TNT inside it. Um, okay. So let me take the TNT. I believe the TNT is about to be here. TNT and the resin torch. Okay, so we're gonna put the TNT over there. We're gonna put the resin torch. How do? Oh, we don't need the resin torch. We will ignite it with our normal thing like flint and steel so we're gonna put this right in here uh oh it just breaks like the, which are directly contact it doesn't break like this so it's basically like the heat block it affects the things which are right over here in the plus but it doesn't affect like cross type but that's gonna be our hardened glass we're gonna put it right over here we're gonna put this green as well because it looks super super awesome okay anyways our number six is complete i mean our number five is complete so at number six we got underwater items so underwater items means basically this special type torch and this special type of tnt gather tnt mg na and torch so, it's gonna be basically right over here. So, craft MG, torch, and ANT and T. So, MG and torch, we gotta basically take a torch and an MG. So, torch, MG, because we got NA and T and T from the previous part. So, we're gonna put a TNT and a MG. Where's the MG? Not MG, NA. What do you call NA? Yeah, sodium. So, once you click, we get underwater TNT. Sounds super duper awesome. Then we're gonna put torch. And MG is magnesium. We're gonna... We crafted an underwater torch. Dude, this is awesome. So, anyways... Uh... So anyways, with the underwater torch, to go like underwater, it would be like very, very dark right nowadays. But if you put like torch, it consumes like place and it would give us more light. So like you can go underground mining as well. <gasps> oh, boy, we got diamonds. Now is this possible? But we got flipping diamonds. Oh no. And we got some amount of coal over there. We got more diamonds. Dude. This is rigged. This place is rigged with diamonds. You can like mine diamonds like that. We got more diamonds. If I break this, we get some more extra diamonds. 
See, you can go mining, and with the underwater TNT, if you put like underwater TNT. So let's work this out with the normal TNT first. So if you take like a normal TNT, where's it? Normal TNT. Uh, if you take like a normal TNT, and if you ignite it. You do none damage, but if you take an underwater TNT and if you ignite it like that, it will flip and work on the water, bro. See, that's the point. So, anyways, we are gonna clear out all these stuff and we're gonna put all of these. So we got all these so far, and now at number seven, we have the color torch. Which sounds pretty insane as well because we got like four colors of this torch. One is red, one is purple or pink, one is blue, and another one is green, I believe. So we need to gather tungsten, potassium, chlorine, cerium, and mercury. All of these are gonna be here, my friends. Don't worry. So we gotta clear out a bit of space, you know. He did not put us a chest this time. So we gotta be more organized and stuff. So we're gonna mix this so that we're gonna have some more space. Okay, so we're gonna take tungsten, we're gonna take mercury, we can take cerium, we're gonna take potassium, and we're gonna take so much chlorine. We're gonna put one chloride there. And next stuff, create chloride of all four elements KCO, WCO6, that's um, maybe every stuff, but where's everything? You didn't put it right there, alright? So we gotta do it all ourselves now. So we're gonna put tungsten and CO6. Then we get this blue element, which is is called a tungsten chloride. Now we gotta put like a G. I believe it's two with that G. So if you do that, we get mercury chloride. We don't want to get mixed up with these. Is I don't know what is that. This. So if you go with K, and I believe it was one. Then we will get KCO with the potassium chloride. If you go with this, I believe it was three, then you will get cerium chloride. So we got all four types of chloride there. So next is craft, craft chlorine plus torch. Each chloride makes different color. And here's a thing as well. So if you do with potassium chloride, you'll get purple. If you go with tungsten chloride, you'll get green. If you go with mercury chloride, you'll get red. If you go with cerium chloride, you'll get blue. So we're going to craft all these types. So basically, tungsten gives us green, I believe. Uh, we don't have torches. Dang. Uh, here we have... Uh, wow, underwater torch and these torch look same. But they are a bit different because underwater torch has got like black stick. This has got like green stick. So we're gonna gather all four torches. So if we put but if we put the tungsten chloride with the blue one, then I believe we put under it. So you will get a green torch. If we put with potassium chloride, you'll get purple torch. If you go with cerium chloride, you'll get blue torch. If you go with mercury chloride, you'll get red torch. So we got all four kinds of torch, which is really, really fascinating. So we're gonna put, so we're gonna like light up all these torches. Okay, here's the red torch. Here's the green torch. Here's the blue torch, and uh, here's the purple. Pop, pop. Purple torch. Hey, hey, hey. So we're gonna manage all these in our inventory because we don't want to get messed up. So we're gonna put like this. Which looks a bit organized, as I would say, because I don't know the meaning of organizement. 
seriously. So we don't need any TNT, we don't need any bone meal, we don't need any ammonia, we don't need any trident, we don't need to spawn any pigs. There we go. We got a bit inventory space. Finally. So now after this, at number nine we got Sparkler. Don't worry, this video is not too much long because we are about to go into the end. Gather the material from previous part, except torch. Gather MD stick, CSCO2 to make CSCO2. Note, CSCO2 makes so Everything's fine, but where's the shulker box? Huh? Wait, what? Sorry, I haven't put materials for this in the shulker box. Hashtag savage. Yo, King Donut Chevy is sometimes very, very savage, alright? And you, I like to destroy this. But, anyways, we got everything in the shulker box, I believe. Ha ha ha. I'm, I'm too clever for you, alright? We got all the chloride, but we just need calcium chloride. So, we gotta create calcium. So, calcium is basically 20. No, I read that somewhere. And this up to 20 as well. See, we got calcium. And now we gotta create chloride of it, which is Ca. And we need Cl, Cl, Cl2. There we go. So, we got 5 chloride this time. And it says put Cl plus in top. MG in the middle and stick at the bottom. What? <gasps> Look at those sparklers! Oh, dude, we're gonna create every single sparkler. Alright, so basically we gotta create, we gotta put the chloride on the top. We need MG, which is magnesium. And we don't have that right now, but we can gather those. There we go, and stick at the last, so we get some stick. So mercury chloride, this call creates red, as I told you, potassium creates purple, then calcium creates orange, which is new, cerium creates blue, and tungsten creates green. So we're gonna put, we're gonna try all of these. So guys, you know, I got all these five sparklers, and we can start off the green so you know this point got a click and ooh look at this dude this is so awesome look at this sparkler on my hand it's going real cool so we can try out the red sparkler this time so we can shake it like that and dude look at this it's time for the orange oops I didn't shake it right <laughs> and the animation. Look at all these sparks that are coming out. So it's time for the blue. Blue looks awesome as well. Now finally the purple one. Yeah, look at this. So that's basically how the sparkler works. So you basically you hold it right like this. And you know, oh. Look at all the colors that's coming behind it. But you know, that's how the sparkler works. So basically, if you keep on holding that on the long time, then its durability, like, goes pretty fast as well. So, yeah. We got unremaining sparkler over here, but don't worry. But we're gonna, like, sort off all these. You can put this. Like this, underwater torch over here, underwater TNT over here, sparklers over here. So we're gonna put the sparklers all over here so that everything's pretty much sorted out. Yeah, uh, yeah. There you go. Now at the last, number 10, we have glow stick. Glow stick. So glow stick, we gotta get H2O2 and craft H2O2. 
fine with me. I don't even need to like craft. I just got it here. But anyways, you gotta mix up H2 and O2 in the compound creator. So next up we got C10 and H10 and craft polyethylene. So we gotta do that, which is new. What? C10 and H20. Which is basically over here, but we gotta craft a more, okay? So we gotta go over here and we gotta put C10, H20, and we get like this. So we gotta craft six of these. And after we get that, gather C7 and 3O2 to make Lumino, I mean H8 as well. So this I have already shown you in the past. We gotta create hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen. Okay, and we will create, create Lumino. So after we have created Lumino, we gotta use the recipe of the shelter box like this. Uh, I believe I'm gonna make it of blue. Because blue looks nice, I'm just gonna pick up a dye from here. Okay, I guess I'm gonna choose an odd color and I'm gonna take cocoa beans because this sounds tasty. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the cocoa beans in the middle. And what was it? Again. Okay, we have to put the dye on the middle. Hydrogen peroxide on the top. And then these, like, these on the sides, which are the polyethylene. Like, so, and the Lumino on the down. We create the glow stick. The ultimate glow stick. Okay, so we're gonna check out this ultimate glow stick. We're gonna see how cool is this ultimate glow stick. So we're gonna wait. Okay, are you guys ready for the glow stick? We're gonna shake it like this. And nothing happens, but if if you are at night like then it will emit light i guess and you know what guys that's gonna be end of this today's video and uh, you know if you go over here he says that's it and there's a button but you know what guys you should never press buttons right right haven't you learned but anyways we're gonna press it anyways whoa what's happening Hey! But anyways, he, this King Donald Trump is too savage, he gave me nausea to like, at the end of the video, but anyways, I'm gonna be shaky all the way like this, and that's gonna be it for today's video, see you guys in the video, leave a like, and, you know, bye bye!